What is happening everyone and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We're going to be showing you exactly how you're going to be able to upgrade your hearts and your stamina. You can do either or. This is the location that I'm doing it at here. There is multiple places you can go. But Kakarika Village is where we're at right now and that's exactly where we're going to be doing it. I'm trying to show you guys the map real fast before we jump into this bad boy. Get you guys where you need to be. This is one location of several. They are everywhere. Literally inside of almost every single town that I've been to. Rito here. You can find them on the Great Sky Island as you're leaving. But I'm pretty sure that one actually only did a heart. It might do stamina now. But once you guys get these little shrines destroyed, some of them are really big, hard to do. I ain't gonna lie. I'm being dead real. If you guys know what I'm talking about. You get these little ball things. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. They're up there at the top right. Whenever you guys go to these statues, you can pray to them, and you can either do a stamina or a heart. It's called Light of Blessing. I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like, but I could click a stamina, but really, I need hearts pretty bad. And as you guys know, one arrow to the face usually will knock you down and kill you pretty quick. That's why I'm definitely upgrading my hearts right now. I have been struggling way too hard, especially with the cold. And back to the Light of Blessing, you will need four of these guys in order to upgrade your hearts or your stamina. So if you go destroy and knock out four shrines, come back and go ahead and upgrade your heart or upgrade your stamina will. Hope this video does help you guys out. If you are interested in a glitch that I just found, I'm going to drop it up there. Have a great day, Goblin out, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goblin out. Later. Peace.